So first thing you do, you come up there to that top bend, and Richard's gonna put two screws in that to hold that inch and three eighths corner brace. It's already cut for you in the kit, and it comes down like this. And then we put a level on this over here. Let him get a clamp down there. I know you're going to ask, well, why are we, why are we showing this to you in the summertime? Do you, wait a minute, Richard, you got to label it out. Look at Josh. Let him take it loose, just let him so he can push it out. A tad more, just a tad more. I think time you push it in or not. Yeah. All right. Now, now he's going to put a, another screw in the back of it to hold it out there, and then they'll put a they'll put another one right over there on that side. You don't need this, do you, Richard? I'll move it out of your way. <clears throat> and the thing you might ask is, was this just for wintertime growing? And I would say no. It's it's just as important to have this in the summertime as it does in the wintertime. In the wintertime, you cover it with plastic. You got your, and we'll show you a little later on how to cover the two ends. And then one sheet covers the whole house. See, in the summertime, you take this plastic off the top. You leave your two ends in for wind protection. But you take your plastic off the top so that this heat that's creating in here can travel up and go out. If you've got plastic on it, it locks it in the top and, it, and the heat cannot get out of here and it just gets hotter and hotter. And first thing you know, it'll be 170, 180 degrees in here when it's only 104, 105 outside. But if we take that plastic off and all it requires to take the plastic off is take the wire out of the wiggle wire track over each end and take your ropes loose over your plastic and then the plastic comes off, you can fold it up. You can bring your shade cloth and put it back on, put your shade cloth on there and put your ropes back on. Put your wire across each bow on the end. Just on the two end bows is all the wiggle wire track is on. And the rope does the rest of it. When you put that shade on there in the summertime, now then if it's 104 outside, it'll be about 90 to 94 inside. It makes it so much cooler in here under that shade cloth. Plus it also keeps the grasshoppers out. They can't get in and things like that. You know, I'm, I'll mention here, we're here in the middle of August, right here in Southern Oklahoma. We were 104 to 107 here just a couple of days ago. Now the wind has picked up here for the last two days. We have woke up the last two mornings to 71 degree weather. Beautiful, wonderful weather. It's a little cloudy today. They're not forecasting any rain, but we would like to get a good rain, not just a sprinkle, but if it did rain. But it, this helps you so much in your growing of these plants in the summertime with this shade on top of it. And so that's the reason you get to use this thing year round. It just takes a little bit of effort twice a year here in Oklahoma. We take our plastic off in May and put our shade cloth on, and then we take our shade off and put the plastic back on in October or November. So it just takes a little bit of effort to, move, to remove this plastic and put this shade on. 30 to 45 minutes, an hour at the most, two people can get this done. All you gotta have is a little ladder that's big enough to get up, hold up, reach up over that little six foot ladder here, y'all work off this six foot ladder's fine, right Josh? And uh, so anyway, we'll bring you another part of this a little later on.